Smith. Well, here at Fox 31, we are directly connecting you to the Republican National Convention. Although it was delayed a little bit because of weather, things got under full swing today. Fox 31's Ashley Knight is live in Tampa with more. Ashley? That's right, Romney. A much better day today for the Republican National Convention. We did still have a little bit of wind, a little bit of rain, but nowhere near what it was like yesterday. Now, um, the GOP has released a brand new video today called Switchers. It profiles people who may have voted Democrat in the 2008 election for President Obama, but who now say President Obama did not deliver on his promises, and all that is brought, they say, is just deficit and unemployment. Now, I'm here at the Embassy Suites, which is right next door to the Convention Center, and I spoke with Senator Saxby Chambliss just a little while ago, and he was remarking on the focus of this election has gone from the economy and then kind of veered over to Medicare, but he says the spotlight needs to be put back on the economy. The American people want to know that the next president of the United States is going to have the capability of creating jobs to put them back to work, of putting policies in place that are going to, for the long term, provide jobs to these bright minds that are coming out of our educational institutions. Now, like I said, the GOP wrapping up the second day today, uh, they officially voted or rather nominated Mitt Romney for their presidential nom nominee. And uh, they also heard from Speaker of the House John Boehner, as well as Rick Santorum and Ann Romney. So lots of excitement going on downtown. Again, live in Tampa over at the Embassy Suites, I'm Ashley Knight, Fox 31 News. Back to you, Romney.